not the most AFK task, but I am uh, checking out the Necro Royales at the basement and there's so many uh, range spots, it is amazing. So there is one range spot upstairs, but usually there's a lot of people there and yeah, sometimes you know it can get in the way when there's quite a bit of people, but plenty of range spots as you can see, lots of tables. You can chill here in AFK range if you want to. Alright, here we go. Vampires. Of course, I have everything, so I don't even have to worry about follow anymore. Oh my god, no! That fucking sucks, man. Oh, I totally forgot, you see? <laughs> oh, damn it. I used my Feral Scepter in my house a while ago, right? But I don't have a second one, so shit. Yeah, those emote clues are still quite troll, man. Okay, I decided I'm gonna dedicate an hour today trying to look for this scepter. So uh, here we go. So I just did a whole run of uh, just opening the main chest in the center of each room and the sarcophagus. They're uh, both 1 in 1000 chance. So yeah, with my thieving level, I'm able to clear uh, 14 tries, you know, at getting the Pharaoh Scepter. About actually, yeah, 3 to 4 minutes. So that means on average I need to clear the Pyramid Plunder from floor 1 to 7. 71 times in order to get the Pharaoh Scepter. So, and that's at around 3 to 4 minutes each. So I'm just going to times it by 3.5. Take me 250 minutes, which is around 4 hours. Oh, what? I just got 82 thieving. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> what the hell, man? I did not know I was close to a thieving level. Okay, well that's uh, my level for the whole entire week, man, right there. That's cool, man. Uh, I wonder what the thieving XP is like. Yo, I'm getting 50k an hour? <laughs> Yo, that's pretty cool, man. Uh, a lot better than I expected, man. 50k an hour just looking for the uh, scepter. So regarding this master clue with the feral scepter requirement, I guess I'll just keep hold of it until I get another elite clue. If I do have time, I'll go back to Pyramid Plunder and try to uh, camp for this scepter once again another time. Alright, should be dead. There we go. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my goodness. Seriously. Wow, man. Oh my goodness, man. Last night I got the Dragon Throne Axe and then I got Dragon Harpoon the, the next raid. That's a back-to-back, -to, -back, to be honest. Well, I guess at least it's not another Dragon Throne Axe. Alright, well, that's not a unique item, but okay, you know, we'll take it. It's another item uh, that we can <laughs> put into the bank, I guess. There we go. 300th raid. Wow, man. That's a solid number right there, dude. Crazy, crazy, crazy progress. Oh, and we got a Dark Relic as well. So I wonder how many more raids we're gonna have to uh, do, you know, to get all this stuff, man. I mean, I've seen people, thousands, you know, like a thousand plus KC and they haven't gotten everything yet themselves. So, um, yeah, it's very easy to go that far into raids and not have everything. So, uh, <laughs> let's just say I'm still really far away. Anyways, still enjoyable though, so I don't mind keep going, you know. Let's go for 400 raids, I guess, for the short term goal. Yo, Durado, I just want to go and AFK some Slayer, man, but you keep giving me these nice ass avian seas tasks, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to find some time uh, to get some more chins and get this 170 uh, Armadale task out of the way for that hilt. Damn, not the best time to be uh, using the lever for my hard clue, huh? Yo, this guy tried to TP me just then. Too bad I already pulled the lever. Alright, please give me the Black Dragon Mask or... Okay, we got a Zami Cross here. Sounds like something I don't have. And it is something that I don't have. My first uh, ever Cross here for Zami on this account. Kinda cool. And this is the reason why I don't really show off my pets much because... When I do bring them out, I always end up going bossing and then I forget to bank them and yeah. I die and then I have to go ahead and pay a mill to get my pets back, so yeah. I am here to reclaim my Serodomen pet and my Hell Puppy pet. So these are the pets that I have, uh, bossing pet wise and skin pet wise. So I have the Sarah pets, Kelphi Queen pets, Hellhound pets, and the Skilling pet Rocky. All right, here we go. 
This should be the level, right? Yes, 18 Night Hunter, and now I can catch Lucky Implings. Wow, that's actually really good. Obviously, not barehanded though, but yeah, holy shit. Cannot wait to catch my first one, but yeah, we're uh, catching some chins right now for this big ass armadillo task that uh, we got. All right, never mind, guys. We're getting 130k an hour now. <laughs> It was floating at around 120k, but I'm actually uh, now floating around 130k Hunter XP an hour, so that's... So at this uh, XP rate, I'm getting around almost 500 red chins an hour. That's freaking crazy, dude. And then I'm done with God Wars for... Oh! God Sword Shard 3. Alright. Oh, it's another long bone. GG, man. That's two long bones from Armadillo in like two days. Well, two three days. GG, man, GG. You did pick it up, but transform into a peach. Oh, you serious? Wow, that's such a troll. Freaking bones to peach converted my long bone without permission. Oh, come on, man. You freaking serious? I I'm not gonna risk it. Forget it, guys. We're done. I'm just gonna kill six AVNCs outside the task. Pretty good. We got now up to 508 KC. That's the exact number drop rate for the hill. I will come back another time, prep up once again later on. Maybe even get another Armadillo task when I'm AFK Slayer. And yeah, go for the hill once again. Attempt number whatever we gotta do, you know. Alright, made quite a bit of diamond bolt tips because I am almost out of diamond bolts. Okay, this actually took a little bit longer than I expected, but yep, I got. 4,860 made, so I should be back at 5,000 diamond bolts. Yes, looks nice, guys. Probably one of the best ways to get to uh, White Wolf Mountain nowadays is just uh, to go to Alcarid and take the gnome here, because really good for one or two clues. I guess if you have the sea pod, that might be good too, but I'm pretty sure uh, Alcarid Tele to the glider there would definitely be the fastest. It was like four steps. A red cavalier. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see if this is a unique, and it is awesome, man. Runite bolts to start off. 320 KC. So I think uh, today is gonna be a dedicated day for Corporal Beast once again. So it's been a long time since I've done like you know multiple hours grind at Corporal Beast. On expose. Okay. Alright, that's the first uh, decent drop of today, man. Got some Onyx Bolts. Last kill of this uh, Corporal Beast grind session for some Runite Bolts. I think my plan is to try to do Corp once a week, you know, spend like a good, I don't know, four or five hours or something a week here. And yeah, we'll slowly uh, build up that Corporal Beast KC and maybe, just maybe, you know, somewhere down the line, we'll get a, another sigil. We'll see. So I found another pretty good use for Preserve and it's gonna be used for uh, Slayer. So if you are the type of person that like to do your task without having your prayers on like all the time such as Protect from Melee or Piety on, then the next best thing you should be doing is having your Preserve on because you will be able to have Preserve on for the entire task and probably have leftover prayer points because Preserve just by itself drains very slowly and you'll be able to upkeep it with just one prayer potion or the SGS and it is so useful because your boosted stats will last 20% longer so like super confidence and stuff so in the long run you'll save yourself a lot of potions so this is probably one of the last few slayer spots that I haven't uh, been to yet you know ever since they uh, dismantled Neve's dungeon and this is in Tavli dungeon so right about here there's like a staircase that you can go up so yeah they actually added another like floor to the Tavli dungeon just for the extra dragons Baby black dragons and the black dragons are on the top floor of the Tavli dungeon. So as you know, I have 508 KC now at Armadillo, and that is the average uh, KC to pretty much get everything, hilt included of course, and uh, I don't have it yet, but basically I did the math and I figured out how many chins approximately that I've used so far to get these 508 Armadillo kills. So from 73 to 77 Hunter, I did uh, only black chins because obviously black chins are better than red chins. So I realized at 77 Hunter that there was just too many PKs and yeah, it was actually just more efficient to catch red chins. So 
I caught 1600 black chains and I used them all for Armado. And then from 7700 to 8900 to the current uh, progress so far, I've caught about 12,700 red chains and I've used them all. So that is a total of about uh, 14,000, like 300, 400 chains altogether to get 508 Armadil kills. So I guess if you are doing something similar to me like in an Iron Man and you're grinding for Armadil, obviously you're going to be using chins. You're probably going to be using similar numbers. And another really important thing to uh, keep in mind is that I did most of these Armadil kills off task. So 80% of my kills were off task. And if you were to do all 500 plus kills, assuming you get all the drops on average, on task, then you probably would use significantly less chins, you know, maybe a thousand less, maybe even two thousand less. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see just how many chins I use all together to achieve all of the armadillo items. We will find out in the near future. I will be wrapping up today's video here guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, episode. So this week's RNG wasn't too good, but hey, I'm pretty uh, happy about my first ever back-to-back -back raids drops. I've never had that happen before, so that's really cool. A <laughs> freaking thrown axe and then followed by a dragon harpoon. But yeah, most people will probably get triggered by it, but it's okay, you know. Still drop, so can't really uh, be too mad about that. Anyways, hopefully in the next episode we get some more amazing drops. You know, I'm still looking for that Armadale hilt. I cannot wait to freaking complete the God War set, man. It's like, you know, something that's been on my mind for ever at this point. You know, if you've been watching this series, you know how long this God War Squad thing has been going on for. So, I would love to uh, wrap that up. It's gonna be amazing. Anyways, if you want to follow the progress of this character, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care, guys.